Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. So for today's video, I am setting up for the week of August 5th to 11th. Cannot believe it is August already. I know this month is just gonna go by super fast, especially since my son goes back to school at the end, at the end of the month. Um, so anyways, this weekly layout, it's something that I've done before and I always come back to it whenever I feel like I don't want to deal with any kind of stickers or decorating and I really just wanna use my pen and highlighter just to plan out my week. And then usually once I'm done with my weekly layout, what I do every day, I take a few minutes every day in the morning to write down my to-do list. And within each day, you guys will see later, I have a to-do list written down in the afternoon and in the evening. And that's when um, in the morning I take time to fill that out. So how this weekly um, spread or for this week so far, there's not really much going on, um, but I thought I'd get back into the swing of things since my son will be going back to school because um, this is how I I planned for the most part during the school year and um, the only thing we have really going on that's super important is Tuesday it is Monday right now and I know I'm just planning this today um, uh, what's going on Tuesday so my husband has a doctor's appointment at 8 30 in the morning and I was gonna try and see if I can take my older son to go get his blood work already because he has two lab orders that we have to go do. My husband's doctor and the lab corp that we're going to be going to is pretty much in the same building um, or I think just two buildings um, from each other like super close. Uh, we would still have to drive to the other building but um, my husband cannot walk right now and I don't know if I want him to just sit in the car and waiting for us or I don't know if he'll need me to stay at the doctor's office or anything while um, I take my son over. I do have my little one with me as well and when we go take my son for his blood work there's usually one of us um, that holds him down. Usually it's my husband. I've done it before too but my son is strong when he tries to break free. We're trying to hold down his arm so that the um, the technician can draw blood so it's kind of hard to do it if you have like a two-year-old toddler with you so um, we'll see how it goes but anyways back into the layout um, I've been really loving separating out this section here um, and I still have it separated the same as I did I think two weeks ago so things to do around the house my finances uh, miscellaneous things uh, and then on the right side like YouTube Instagram and miscellaneous but again like the right side is usually things that I do for myself and typically a lot of the things that um, right now or not typically typically the things that we kind of have to do at home like wash dishes clean laundry I try to leave off and I would just incorporate that into the to-do list for the day for the most part the things written down on there at home are things that are bigger things that I need to do like tidy up my crafting area, decluttering clothes, toys, or whatever bigger projects it is that I'm working on. And um, and again, anything else will just go into the to-do list for the day, whatever comes up, like running errands and all of that. And um, oh yeah, so there I go, separating out the to-do list, one in kind of like the afternoon and one in the evening. And for the most part, the things in the evening are things that I need to work on, like editing, taking a photo for Instagram or something so that I can post it the next morning. And um, lettering, if I didn't letter, practice my lettering in the morning. Because that's usually when I, I like to practice my lettering is in the morning is when, when the kids are not, or when everyone's still asleep. Um, and then I have a big to-do list or... Maybe it's not that big, but it's a to-do list for my um, for my son and his school things, like things for me to do before he goes back to school. I also added a reminder that we um, we need to pick up his school packet on the 15th or 16th. Um, I think that's like in well, that's next week already, and I have to make sure I print out the confirmation of his registration. Um, in order to do that. So that's why I wrote myself a little reminder. Um, and so for the today focus or today's focus box, I decided to fill it in with all of the workouts for this week. I am on week two of the size program 
um, the workout program um, through Beachbody and it's by Shanti and I'm really really loving it. I'm following the advanced calendar. I did the beginner one a long long time ago. I don't even think I completed it but this time around I'm just feeling like um, just I don't know more motivated I don't know I just been working out a lot more consistent this year than I've had <laughs> like in a long time so um, and the workout program is really really fun uh, it's a dancing program so our dancing kind of workout so it's really fun um, and then my favorite part the highlighting and of course color coding all of the meals are in yellow all of the blue things or anything in blue is all my workouts and um, purple is anything that has like any times attached to it and green is all for my to-do list and I think that's pretty much it and then something I decided to do for this layout or for this week is um, add a what is one of these called at one of the inserts I downloaded this from the passion planner website and what I'm gonna do with this I didn't write anything down in it just yet but it's gonna be a brain dump of things that I want to accomplish for my son's room because we are gonna be redecorating it reorganizing it it's gonna be just his room so um, that's gonna be my little brain dump area for that we do have a sinking fund um, saved up right now that we've been saving since July um, from the money that he's been receiving from his grandparents so we decided to just save it because we've been wanting to have him have his own room um, so yeah that's pretty much it for this video hopefully you guys en are enjoying the simple type of planning thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you guys in the next video have a great one bye